We're a week into training camp, and today we saw our first red zone action. The defense took charge, but head coach Sean Payton says that's no big whoop. Plus, we'll have a one-on-one -on -one with Brandon Johnson, a young wide receiver looking to make the most of his opportunities. That's coming up next on Broncos Camp Daily. Hello, thanks for joining us here on Broncos Camp Daily. I am Phil Milani alongside the Hall of Famer, Steve Atwater, and our, our Hall of Famer, Mike Kliss. <laughs> Mr. Mike Kliss. Yeah, no Hall of Fame here. <laughs> Mike is covering his yeah. 20th NFL training camp. Yeah, I am, 19 in a row. And then I filled in for the great Mike Burroughs one year. He had an emergency surgery at, in Greeley. So that worked out pretty well. Yeah. Well, we're about a week into camp now, Mike. Uh, the pads are on. We saw some red zone action today. Uh, are you starting to get a better sense of uh, what this Broncos squad might look like? Yeah, it, looks, it does look good. The defense still looks solid like it did last year. On offense, you're asking me at a bad time because I didn't think Russell Wilson had a very good day today. His very first pass, he threw into triple coverage, number one. He overthrew number two and into Justin Simmons' gut, number three, for, a, for another interception. Two and two days for Justin Simmons on the first real pass from Russ. And then in the red zone, the very first red zone pass, uh, Cortland Sutton was open and Russell uh, underthrew him and Kwan Williams uh, had the pick. So uh, let there be no doubt that Sean Payton supports his players because I asked him about if Russ had uh, not one of his better days and he kind of poked fun at me for Evalu over evaluating practice and and did say the line of uh, no big whoop. <laughs> but Mike, so. you've been to many of training camps over the years, and normally at the beginning of training camp, defenses are kind of ahead of the game, so yeah. to speak, uh, over offenses. And I think at some point, probably midway through camp, that starts to switch and offense starts to get in their groove. Do you think that'll happen with this team, or do you think, hey, what we saw today is what, what it'll be? I do. You know, before football I covered baseball and it was always the pitchers are ahead of the hitters and uh, by the end of spring training the scores get up into double digits and uh, I do think with Sean Payton first of all he is a offensive genius and that's why a big reason why the Broncos hired him but it's still a new offense and you're not going to be as good on August 2nd you better not be as good on August 2nd as you're going to be on September 10th when they open up against the Raiders. So yeah, they're gonna be much better, I would think. Um, you know, and even in training camp, Peyton Manning used to say this, you know, the time to try to throw it into small windows is in training camp. Yeah. You don't know how far you can go until you go too far. And going too far, it happens in training camp. In the games, you don't wanna go too far. I think they'll be better in week 17 than they are in week one. So. That'll continue. Yeah, that'd be ideal. Hey, hitting your stride later in the season. Uh, here's what the head coach Sean Payton had to say about uh, where this team's at right now and what makes it so difficult in the red zone. The challenge, obviously, is your space is limited. And so, you know, defenses do a good job of utilizing that to their advantage. You get a little bit more coverage and um, everything happens a tick quicker. The ball's got to be precise. You don't want anything floating on you. And, and like I said earlier, you have to be pretty efficient running the ball, I think, to be to be good in that area. So the team uh, working through some things down there near the goal line. Uh, Mike, uh, it's been a tough week losing uh, both K.J. Hamler and Tim Patrick. But uh, luckily for the Broncos, it's at a position where they're pretty deep. Yeah, they still got Cortland Sutton and Jerry Judy, who were going to be number one and number two no matter what. Uh, remember, they traded up to the last pick in the second round to get rookie Marvin Mims. Mm -hmm. So those are the top three. K.J. may not have made the team anyway if he was healthy because of Marvin Mims. Mm. Uh, they're my, you know, I think there could have been room for both. They're both fast. Would have been nice to have uh, double trouble there in the speed department. But uh, And by the way, we wish K.J. the best yes. Right? Yes. With, yes. Uh, yes. With, yeah. with that hard situation. And Tim Patrick, boy, uh, just devastating. Demoralizing. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's terrible. You always hate to see that for any player. Yeah. Uh, but fortunately, we have uh, some quality depth to be able to uh, fill in for those guys. Plus, to be, you know, a little, you know, straight, cold-hearted, uh, uh, factual about it. You know, they just spent a year without Tim Patrick, so yeah. 
Uh, this is the second year they're going to be. I think mm -hmm. last year was a crucial blow because yeah. they were counting on him. He was such a leader. It's so productive, too. 50-plus catches, 700-plus yards, a lot of touchdowns. But, you know, they're, this is the second year without Tim Patrick, so there's a, a little bit more of an adjustment. But they still need a couple guys to step up. Uh, Mar, um, Marquez Callaway yep. mm -hmm. and a little Jordan Humphrey, yep. both from the New Orleans Saints. Uh, they, they're going to have to step up. Kendall Hinton, the old reliable. So I, I, I agree, Steve. I think they are pretty deep. I, I still wonder if they'll get one more. Yeah. Uh, before that 53-man roster set. Yeah, Jalen Virgil, you know, he ja you got, he's got speed nice there. Young yep. player, he got speed yeah. there. Yep. And another guy is uh, Brandon Johnson. Oh, let's go down. We uh, got to talk about yeah, him. Yeah, of course, right? Brandon Johnson. Uh, let's go down the field level and check in with Sidney Jones. Thanks, Phil. We're here checking in with wide receiver Brandon Johnson. Brandon, of course, it's been a hard week for the wide receivers here. You know, losing Tim Patrick and KJ Hamler. And first off, have you talked to them? How are they doing? Uh, personally, I've given them, you know, I'm, I'm going to check on them boys today, see how they're going, give them a little space. I'm going to check on them today, but, you know, we love those guys. Uh, I've learned so much from both of them, and um, just praying for them. I mean, yeah. God is definitely always in control, so I, I'm a, I got faith in that, and they're going to be all right. Given that, you know, head coach Sean Payton mentioned that you've get, been getting some more work in with the ones. How do you look to take advantage of that opportunity and create more of a role for yourself here? Um, just exactly that, just, just taking advantage of it um, in every way possible. Uh, showing that I'm on top of my assignments, uh, showing that I'm going to play hard every chance I get on the field, and, and just ultimately just trying to prove my worth to you know, my teammates, my coaches, and um, just trying to earn a place on this team. You know, this is year two for you. Brandon, you know, specifically what about your game are you looking to improve on at camp the next few weeks? Primarily just uh, this, 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 this confidence in everything I'm doing, uh, you know, in my assignments, and also just the knowledge aspect of it from uh, learning coverages, defenses, uh, learning what to do in certain situations. So. Uh, from a knowledge aspect, I think I want to definitely improve. Yeah, you mentioned, you know, getting the hang of things and learning things. What do you think about the offense's work so far, and do you feel like you're really grasping the playbook? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, I'm definitely starting to grasp it a lot better than that right now, and um, uh, I love the playbook. I love what Coach is drawing up, and uh, I think we're going to have a lot of success. Yeah, You know, I, I know last year you made a big impression at training camp, so how are you hoping to make the same impact this year with, a, you know, a new coaching staff? Um, just doing what I do, you know, I'm controlling what I can control, and, and I'm um, contributing in, you know, the ways I can. Not trying to do too much, but, you know, whatever's asked of me, getting it, getting it done. Well, appreciate your time, Brandon. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Phil, I'll send it back to you. Thank you very much, Sydney. Uh, while we got Mike here, let's talk about the defense a little bit. Uh, it's a good thing that they're playing so well on, on that side of the ball. And Justin Simmons, like you mentioned, Mike, uh, having a heck of a camp. Yeah, the back end of the Broncos secondary has been real good. Uh, now Sean Payton was gushing about the play of Caden Stearns today and Justin Simmons. Kind of cracked about all his characteristics that he can do. He, he, you know, he's a good ball hawk, good ball skills, uh, good instincts, good awareness, can block extra points, <laughs> which right. of course goes back to 2016. He didn't forget about that. Huh? No, and they got the Justin Simmons rule. Let's not forget, they changed <laughs> yeah, the rule after that that you couldn't jump over the line. But yeah, Justin Simmons, boy, he he had what six interceptions last year. I think he's got six, six so far yeah, in camp. The training, the training uh, yeah, camp. Yeah, yeah. So uh, he has been uh, picking up where he left off last year. They're good on the back end. I think they're good at uh, cornerback. Tough news on Riley M uh, Moss today yeah. with the with the uh, uh, core, core 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 muscle repair. And um, but um, I think they're going to be okay on defense. The pass rush, I think, is a concern. Uh, they got to hope Frank Clark has one more good year left in him and, and Randy Gregory has a healthy year yeah. in him, and they'll be all right. All right. Well, Mike, thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to uh, your coverage on Nine News all season long. we got the preseason games coming up. Uh, yeah, uh, here on the Big Nine so. News. Yeah, on yeah. the Big Nine News this year. Yeah, looking forward to uh, uh, all of your coverage coming up this season. That's going to do it for us. For Steve Atwater and Mike Kliss, I'm Phil Milani. This has been Broncos Camp Daily.